Hey Douglas, what are you hustling today? <laughs> An original 1976 Alpha GT1600 Junior in its original color scheme. The Alfa Romeo 105 series has been around for almost two decades. This is probably the most abstract Alfa Romeo grille I've ever seen. Look at it. I mean, a lot of uh, Alphas of the time were designed by either Zagato or Pino Brina, but this is a Bertone design. Look at it. It says that. But technically, it's a Giugiaro design. He was actually working for Bertone before later setting up Etel Design. Not only does the car have the original paywork, it even has the original driver's manual. The first registration in, in UK. That was the owner, David Sito, who's owned the car for almost 10 years now. Wow, of course, the interior is immaculate. Amazingly, it's got air conditioning. Pretty vital, actually, for Hong Kong. The early juniors had a very simple wooden style dash, whereas this one features very typical 1970s style black plastic mouldings. I always find the script and the logos of Italian cars so fascinating and so stylish. And they seem to get the stance and proportions just right, even the wheels, perfectly filling out the wheel arches. Alfa Romeos had always been very advanced with their engines. As early as 1963, these were four-cylinder twin-cam or alloy engines. This 1600 produces 106 brake horsepower. But because the car only weighs just over 900 kilograms, the performance is still not bad by today's standards. It can certainly keep up with traffic. futuristic looking Zagato version of the Junior. Steering wheel very close and if you move the chair back, <laughs> the pedals become too far away. But what they've really got right are the pedal facing. like a resort town. So that was the utterly delightful Alfa Romeo GT Junior 1600. See you next time. Bye.